Hi there, welcome to the new lecture on Microsoft Teams here and within this lecture we will look into the audit logs. So let's say if anybody ha is doing some kind of create or update actions within the Microsoft Intune console or maybe deleting or assigning some kind of policies or maybe they are trying to do some kind of remote actions all of these things will be fully automatically audited so that means it will be recorded uh, in the event format I'm going to show you that in a minute but before that there are a couple of things that you need to know remember by default this auditing is enabled for all the tenants meaning all of the customers from Microsoft so you cannot take it out or you cannot disable the specific things and if you're looking for who can access this yeah global admin can access and also Intune service administrator most probably you would have this kind of in a role will be assigned or for that matter you could create a custom role uh, within the administration uh, section for the Intune with a role assigned with the audit dot or read permissions so these are the things that that user roles can access the Intune audit data let's jump into the demo to see where this audit logs are available open up your Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center and log in and point to tenant administration within tenant administration you have audit logs by default audit logs will be visible here so I have recently done some change here for the Intune portal for a specific change let's have a look on it what I have done so I have worked on the Microsoft Intune portal extensions for patch device and app assignment with a target as the group filter so I've done some changes to the group filter that's why it is listed let's do one thing now we'll go back to the devices and we'll try to maybe select one of the device and try to wipe up and see if that can be recorded or not so let's say I have here a random device I'm just selecting this is my test lab so I should be able to play around it so let's say I initiated the wipe action the two options so if I just go back to my tenant administration and see under audit logs I should be able to see here I have initiated a protected wipe initiated so these are the things I would be able to see on an application and what is that specific device it's a wipe and a category of the device so these are the things I should be able to uh, view from the audit logs and if you are looking for the advanced level of monitoring you should also export this data and automatically can be connected with your Microsoft storage accounts and then it can be you know, saved there or it also can be pointed to log analytics services uh, that covers into the Azure section but in general you should be able to export and have a look on the data that was exported in a CSV format with the actions that are performed or audited logs so if it is a, a bigger team that will show a lot of events that are available view from the audit logs so by default it will show for the last 24 hours filter but in case if you want to you know go for a longer period just click on a filter and this will show a specific category of actions also you can find out by filtering also the activities that are again a sub categorized and also the date range which is up to maximum of one year that you should be able to find out so in my case let's say if I just go for a longer period I should be able to see all of the actions that I have performed for example I created here media player VLC help desk portal protected wipe have initiated so all of that stuff I should be able to see and this would be very useful in terms of digging into audit who has done what kind of you know changes within the infrastructure I hope this is very useful for you. Thank you for watching this.